Montana. Big sky country. The treasure state. The newest installment of Far Cry takes place in rural Montana, where a cult called Eden's Gate has established a stronghold over the denizens of Hope County under the banana nut butter's leadership of Joseph Seed and his merry band of equally demented siblings. And while previous titles took place in these far-flung, fictionalized lands, establishing this one in America led to many people asking the basic question, should we feel offended? Because of course we would ask that question, it's like the default setting for conversation now, so I decided it was worth investigating by, you know, playing the game. I made Angus MacGyver! So first off, the easy one. Is it offensive to America? Well, to be honest, no. Throughout the game, there is a definite sense of American pride. Joseph and his demons have been smacked in the mouth by red-blooded American true grit warriors. The flag flies high over liberated outposts. The red, white, and blue is used to denote success. I mean, there's a part where you drive a decked-out big rig with machine guns mounted to the front while country music plays on the radio. I used it to liberate a fertilizer company. I mean, USA. Are you twins? Or clones? Second, is it offensive to Christians? Again, no, not really. Eden's Gate loves to refer to revelations, but easily telegraphs its own doctrine. You see the Bible swatted out of Pastor Jeffrey's hands and replaced with the cult's own Book of Joseph. Seed is often cited by his cult as the prophet and believes he was chosen by God to protect his followers, or children, from the end times. Actually, the cult may have religious talking points, but never mentions Christianity. The only people who do are the heroes of the game. The father. This is the world? This? Oh. Okay. This is the world we built for our children? I don't, I don't remember doing that. Being torn apart? Well. Walls being uh, erected? All right, but. leaders are too impotent. Oh, okay, but I don't think it would have stopped. Well, talk about outrage culture, right? I mean... Third, is it offensive to literally any race of people? Well, no. Eden's Gate is a cornucopia of multiculturalism, as well as the resistance. In fact, there was never a part in the game where it felt anyone was racially motivated on either side. Right, it's a Far Cry game, so we have to go up some of these watchtowers. Although Dutch swears that I don't have to go up anymore, so I'm gonna hold you to that, Dutch. Just saying. Fourth, is it offensive to the heartland of America? Well, no. In fact, the folks out in Hope County are the most vocal dissenters of Eden's Gate and are often the voices of reason and restraint throughout the game. And we let him write in. Ah, Dutch lied to me. How can I ever trust you again? So, who should feel offended by Far Cry 5? Cults. Yeah, cults come off looking pretty terrible by the end of this game. As you explore the three regions of Hope County, each held by a member of Seed's family, you quickly realize these people are insane. John launches a propaganda campaign to make you say yes to Eden's Gate. Jacob believes in culling the herd to basically make a paramilitary organization. Faith uses a drug called bliss to keep that. followers subservient. Your friends on the outside that are controlled by fear. It is highly enjoyable taking them all down, however, as you liberate the county from crazy people. And then mm -hmm. you'll choose. I think I already did. Don't listen to him. He'll be right. Oh man. Are you actually cutting those vegetables or are you just making it look really convincing? Problem is, the festival didn't postpone because of the goddamn. Yeah, that that was a good one. You're a real chef. From a story standpoint, it is really strange that the villains continually have you in the palm of their hands, only to let you go. That's one of the most unrealistic aspects. Hey there, I just killed a bunch of your followers. 
Oh, you want to teach me a philosophical lesson and release me back into the world to keep tearing your organization down? Okie dokie. This is where the cult first put down roots in Hope County. Uh huh. Everyone thought they'd make things better here. What? Couldn't imagine it would come to this. What? Anyway. Okay, I no longer feel sympathy for you people. <laughs> But really, this is still very much a Far Cry game, and so, you mostly end up doing stuff like this. Also, two of your NPCs are a bear named Cheeseburger and a cougar named Peaches. So, once you unlock those two, your game is pretty much watching them rip cultists apart, like it's found footage from an unreleased nature documentary. No, don't go into the fire! No, why did you... Why did you go into the fire? In France, it's called a Royale with cheese. And at the end of the day, you finally save Hope County and arrest Joseph Seed. All is right with the world, and... Oh, so, wait, the, the end times were coming? Was the crazy person right all along? It means I was right. Okay, well, that was a bold way to end a game, Ubisoft. Oh, wait, everything's back to normal. Huh? Okay, whatever. On the bright side, there is also an arcade where you can play maps that give you a more satisfying end. Much better. For villain, Joseph Seed gets 4 out of 5 Vosses. Vosses? Vosse? Yeah. For lead character, Rook gets 3 out of 5 Jason Brodies. Because Jason Brody actually talked and did stuff. Rook, Rook pretty much just listens intently. For cuddly animal companions, Far Cry 5 gets 15 out of 5 primals. Zizu. And finally, for amount of aquatic combat, Far Cry 5 scores an A for not containing any. Suck it, bull sharks. If any of my companions are out there and could just revive me, that would be great. Just chilling out here. Blood Dragon 3 will be a masterpiece! Yeah! Seriously, it has to be. I yeah. can't go back to working on shit like Far Cry! No! I'd rather put my balls in a vice and listen to everyone with their fucking opinions! Yeah! About world building and player motivation Urgh. and believability! Yeah, I hate people oh, with opinions know, about Far Cry. Oh. oh. And I wasn't kidding before <clears throat> close set. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, I'll be going now.